just got to our hiking trail in Niagara and we're all just looking at the view for the first time. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Guys, look. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> that is so pretty. So we have Christina making her appearance again. <laughs> Erica and then Jamie and we are doing our hike first to close at four so we're gonna be out of here by then and then go back to our hotel or right before that do a quick grocery run slash LCBO run and then we're gonna go for dinner at eight so we're gonna do this hiking trail that we've never done before first My friends are calling me the mom of the trip. Guess who got the cart? Guys, the mom got the cart. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. What flavors? Some Powerade. Powerade, not Gatorade. Powerade's cheaper. Yeah. We have arrived to the hotel. Hello. And this is what it looks like. Christina can show you a little tour of the bathroom. That's the bathroom. Really cute, nice white marble. We love, we love. Oh, Erica and Jamie made some green. Isn't that cute? What, what's in it? Um, triple sec, vodka, white wine. Um, I don't know, just a bunch of stuff. Cranberry bunch juice. of deliciousness. Um, then we have our two queen beds. Our view of the trees. Um, and I think this is a Herman Miller chair, which is like a thousand dollars. So. Ooh, yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Can I feel it? It's like vertebrae, like I can feel it really right lining up my, my, yeah, my spine up nice yeah. and nice and vertical. Um, and then there's, oh, okay, we have the TV so we can watch movies later because I brought my laptop and the cord to plug it in. And we're going to start getting ready now. We're going to go to a dinner spot tonight called, sorry, Casamaro? Something like that. No. <laughs> it's like, Casino Rama? No. <laughs> It's like Cappuccino, Cappuccino, I don't know. Yeah. I'll put it on the screen here. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get ready now and then we're gonna film this little TikTok that JV had in mind for all of us. <laughs> little outfit of the day. My top is from Dynamite and pants are from Zara and shoes are from Tory Burch. Everyone else go, Jamie go. My pants are from Topshop, <laughs> my belt is from my sister, and my shirt is from Zara, from Erica. Where's your shoes? I'm not wearing any. Okay, you're gonna go barefoot. It's from Urban Planet Online, from Dynamite. These jeans are so nice, and my shoes. <laughs> Guess where they're from? They're so cute! Guess where they're from? What are they last? They're from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Walmart. show them. They're from Wally's. Yeah, they're so cute. I love the back of the shirt. Show the back mm. of the shirt. Oh, yeah. So cute, eh? I got some wine. It was literally like it's eight really bucks. Cute. Oh my god. Like your turn. Two years ago? Okay, this jacket is from Aritzia, and then I'm wearing like this little blouse <laughs> underneath that's from Zara. <laughs> this top is from Dynamite. The pants are from Dynamite. Shoes are Steve Madden. Okay, we're gonna film this TikTok outro. Let's do it. Okay, what? To jump. Okay. It might have been good. My words? My words? I think it's not as good. That wasn't bad. And jump. Me, oh, I think she like me. Molly Ross in my green Yeah, girl, let's go. Okay, finish your drinks, ladies. I know. This is the name of the restaurant. Carpaccio. The, like, signature one? Huh? Like, their signature martini? Oh, yeah. Well, they have a bunch of, like, little, like, Prada, Dolce & Gabbana. Cute name. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a Burberry. Burberry. I kind of want to try an espresso martini. Would you ladies like anything to drink? Yes. Do you know what you want? Yes. Could I get the Louis Vuitton? And our friend here is going to get the Tiffany. Tiffany? Oh, what's Tiffany? Is that what you said? Yeah. Tiffany and Co. Tiffany and Co. Yeah, Tiffany and Co. And then I'm going to get the birthday martini. 
and I'll get the espresso martini. Oh, you're gonna get it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Espresso martini taste test. That's strong. It is strong. I still have my drink on my menu. Cool. So I got the pork, spinach filled, goat cheese filled meat with wrapped bacon and gnocchi. She got the penne gorgonzola. Penne gorgonzola no, with no, primavera. Primavera. Penne primavera. <laughs> Same thing for Erica, but with shrimp. Yes. Thank you. I like to see what you get. Margarita pea. Margarita pea. Is that bad? Basil, basil? What do we say? Yeah. Basil? Basil. We are back at the hotel. I'm in a full new outfit. This is my comfy hangout pajamas <laughs> with no makeup. <laughs> Christina. <laughs> Erica. Jamie, and we are playing a game called Piccolo. Piccolo. Hi, little Piccolo. Is it an app? Yeah. Cute. No sponsorship, though. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is now the Saturday, and we just woke up. I should probably take off my mask, but my hands are super full. I'm gonna run over to Timmy's and grab a coffee. Um, the girls just want the hotel coffee. I wanted to like, get out, get some fresh air, even though we're gonna be doing that all day long. Um, we ordered breakfast to the hotel room because they're not doing the buffet style breakfast because of COVID. So you have to order it um, either when you go down to the lobby or you have to call it in. So we were able to call it in and Erica and Christina are gonna go pick it up. Um, and we had a really good price on it, so we got breakfast, and now I'm just grabbing the coffee. I now got my coffee. It is such a nice fall crisp day. I'm so excited to come out here with the girls. Um, so I ended up getting just a regular roast medium, and I got two Splendas, and they have almond milk now, which is great. Um, it took Tim Hortons years to get on the bandwagon of milk alternatives. So I think I'll have to start going back to Timmy's, which is Canada's number one coffee spot, if you are unfamiliar. Let's go see if our food is ready. And the girls are downstairs waiting for us. We all got the basically the same breakfast, just different substitutions. So me and Erica got sausage, Jamie and Christina got bacon. I do not know. There should be. And then we just got our eggs done differently as well. And your sunglasses? Oh my god, they're from Amazon. They're so cheap. And your necklace? It's from Kate Spade. And belt? Did you say belt? From Urban Planet or Sirens, one of them. Cute! <laughs> from online. The dress is from Princess Polly. The jacket is from Zara. The shoes are from Linterval. The bag is Rebecca Minkoff. All my jewelry is like a mix of things. Sunglasses. Just put your hands in the frame. And then my necklaces and then my sunglasses are Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Cute. I don't know where half of it's from, but we're gonna start with this. This is from Garage. This is from Walmart. This I don't know. I've had it for like two years. This is from my sister. My shoes are from Payless. My necklace is from Every Jewels, and my glasses are from Winners. Okay, so my hat is from Forever 21. <laughs> my necklace is my name necklace. This one's from J and Co Jewelry. This ring's from Michael Kors. The knot, Sailor's Knot, is from Kate Spade. Fossil, Tory Burch, Fossil. My dress, that's like off the shoulder, or cold shoulder, I guess, is from Forever 21's Contemporary Line. Then my oversized cardigan's from Urban Outfitters, from like two seasons ago, so you can't even buy it anymore. My bag is, oh, oh. Same bag, Rebecca Minkoff. Same bag is Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac. And then my shoes are the, Tory Birch Miller in Vintage Vincetta, I think the brown is called. 
Cute. And then my earrings. These are Oak and Luna jewelers. And then these, I don't know, my mom got me when I was a little infant. And that's my look. And then I'm gonna do the same, the first one, and then the Trius Red, and the Cranberry Cider. Trius Baclavar. Okay. Um, the Trius Rosé. The sparkling or the still? Whatever this one is down here. The still? Sure yeah, thing, yeah. yeah. And then the Trius Vital Ice Wine. Perfect, I'll be right back. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It's a lot of stuff to remember. No, not bad. How long are, is the longest barrel that's aging? Okay, so good question. So, um, if you look at the first two digits of the barrel, that's the year that we started using the barrel. Okay. Now we'll reuse a barrel up to six years. Okay. And then after the six years are up, uh, we will take the barrels out and we'll ship them over to Wayne Gretzky's estates and they'll uh, age whiskey in these barrels. Oh, this is so good! Watch your stuff. Okay, we got oh my god! Hey guys! Here, 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 here. a little so yep. blanc. Okay. It's a little bit spritzy. It's very dry though. It has tons of acidity. And that's what you want to start with, right? Helps to cleanse the palate. Mm. And you're doing water glasses. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. What kinds of wines do you generally enjoy? Do you usually like that? Like an I like dry something. white wine? Uh, I like sweeter, but this one's still good. Still good? Yeah. Okay. So you like something a bit sweeter. Do you like to do any red or you want to focus mainly on whites? I'm up to trying red. So I have yeah. wines. A lot of people confuse fruity with sweet. So you yeah. can have sweet and fruity, or you can have just fruity without the sweet. We like just fruity without the sweet. So this is fermented really garage, you can smell it, right? It's really mm -hmm. aromatic. A lot of times you see people with the stem and they're like swirling the wine around and around. When you do that, yes, it keep going. What you're doing is you're opening it up. You really swirl. You're going nuts. And like open it, like what is that doing to it? So if you're really good at swirling, you'll find out. Let it go, just go, really go. It opens it up to the oxygen. It does. Right. And if you're unsure of doing it in your head, you can put it flat and do it. It's, it's probably easier. Now, right after you do that, put it up to your nose. It's more intense, right? Yeah, it is. That's the idea. It literally intensifies the nose. You can wow. smell it better. That wine you're drinking right now is literally from those very vines. Really? The cool. closest ones to us. Yeah. We were made by a guy who lived in St. Catharines in the 30s. And he made stones. And every stone he made, he had an imprint of basically it was a mold of his wife's foot. And he put what? the indentation to all the stones. And so that's what it is. I'm sure they're long dead, but that's that's what it is. Wow, that's like actually kind of so cool, cool, but like also kind of creepy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. In it's every single stone. Oh my god. <laughs> he took his wife's shoe and just like. Wow. Well, I guess it was a mold of her foot. Maybe it was a oh, shoe. Wow. Wow. It wasn't a shoe. It looks like a shoe. It's a heel. He really like loved her. Yeah. If you want to taste them, don't pull them off the, the cluster. Go ahead. I'll touch a little cluster. <laughs> if you want to cut it, do a dry cut because if you leave the little end exposed, mm. it attracts bugs and you can wipe out the whole plant. Oh, got it. I'm going to bring you a little cluster. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I, the seeds, though they're sour. And take sure. the seeds out? Well, split them. It's kind of hard to get them. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she's doing. 
<laughs> oh my gosh! Mm, that would be sweet one, make me slay. Guys, where are yours? It's really sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Just keep the one glass for the seeds. Jamie, are you not gonna share? They're so. <laughs> <laughs> you don't buy those. You can't buy those at the store. Here. Oh, that's good. It's good enough for that wine. Oh, yeah. They're so good. See so you. Squeeze from the bottom. From this part? Like, squeeze from the bottom so they'll just all come out. And then yeah, you, you dump you the them. seed? Oh my gosh. Why you dump the so seed good. and eat the skin? Tastes yeah. like a good grape. It's like sweet and hard. Which is like oh, really goodness. Good. It comes from grapes. Like, it's literally just fermented. Like, Holy sh. It's crazy. It's delicious. Candy. And they, stuff. Don't, they don't have good explanations. Oh my like, god. Oh my god. <gasps> no. Oh. Oh. That's what he means when it gets to make Evan do it. Thank you so much. What was the first one called that you started yeah. us off with? That was the Divergent Divert Scribble. I'm going to write it down. An Uber uh, Tesla. Okay. Thank you so much. Why are you an Uber driver? You have a really nice car. More You trust strangers to be able to put the here. There's no control. Where's the where are the gears? Where's the drive part? Yeah, like reverse. Oh, it's right here. It's on the it's on the Prindle. Oh. The Prindle. <laughs> We're doing the London Tipton Prindle. Where's the Prindle though? Honestly though, like 845 a month plus insurance and no gas, like I might buy it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are back from all of our winery tours. We'll give them a little rating and a memento. Um, but we've changed get-ups here. I'm wearing Erica's jeans. Erica, where are these from? Zara? I'm gonna assume Zara. Shirt is from a thrift shop. Jacket is from Forever 21. Hat is from Aritzia. Bag is from Rebecca Minkoff, and then my shoes are the same Tory Burch sandals. Christina, go! My jeans are the same from this morning. My <laughs> bodysuits, H&M. Yeah, my shoes are Nike, but they're not Air Forces, so. Not too better. <laughs> so I don't really change much. I'm wearing the same everything I was wearing earlier, but I switched my jacket, and it's from? Zara. Zara. It's the same one I was wearing this morning. It's the same one she was wearing this morning, but then we swapped because we're going out now, so, you know. Yeah. Okay, so I'm wearing the shoes are Lulu's. The skirt is Aritzia. The jacket is dynamite, I believe, and the bra top is also Aritzia. Cute. Cute. And we're going to like a pub not even a, a pub. Brewery. A brewery. Brewery. But it's like yeah. relaxed vibes, not like fancy fancy. We went to Trias, Peller, um, Strewn, and then we also went to a place called All Saints. It was really no, fun. No, it was called All Palestine. Saints? Palestine. Palestine. It gives it gives All Saints vibes though. I told you. Palestine All Saints. That's a store. Like the like the a clothing store. It's oh, called Palatine. Okay, so I would rate Peller, and then I think Strewn, or I don't know. I kind of tie them in. I like them for different reasons. I think I like Strewn the best. Strewn was the most personable. Peller yeah. is a big name to go to. I liked Peller's views, like their main like tasting. Wines. And we also did a tour at Peller. So we got to go like where the barrels were. Like that was, that super was fun, But yeah. we did get like a tour at Strewn, 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 but just seated. Like he basically told us the whole history and everything we wanted Trius to know in the fun fact. Trius, yeah, the Trius was last place. Yeah. It felt the most rushed. Mm -hmm. Like we were just another person on their checklist to. A and restaurant seats. and we just left and they didn't even tell us anything about the wines we had to ask mm -hmm. about like everything they were like order you want your 25 minutes leave yeah, and then they were was like, like a dud. palatine like was a hippie a vibe i wouldn't really go there for like the flights of wine just because they didn't have like a huge variety to choose from you can but i feel like it's not it's also three sips for 12 dollars yeah it's not the same vibe but i'd say that's a good last place to go to if you want to just have some snacks and a glass of wine and then peace out and go to dinner or go back to your hotel or whatever you're going to do um so that's my little rating <laughs> we are at the brewing company in Niagara Falls and Christina and Jamie, what drink did you get? 
Uh, we got the lemonade machado. <laughs> I like it. Okay. 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 She brought us samples of the peach rattler and the. I don't know the other one. Another type of beer. Let's drink these peach rattler. Saturday night now and my voice is literally going as well as I know the other girls' voices are going as well just because we have not stopped talking to one another all weekend long. We had a very long day. We are exhausted so we are going to head to bed but I will try to get a few clips of tomorrow. I know we're planning to do a brunch and maybe shopping on the way home but we'll see kind of what the day looks like when we wake up. Check out of the hotel is at noon so we'll update you then. Good morning, it is Sunday, and we are all packed up, ready to go. We're gonna try to go to IHOP this morning, the breakfast joint. Um, so we're gonna try and go to one now. Really excited. Gonna get a nice big brunch. Yeah. Let's do it! We are at IHOP, but it's very quiet, so I don't wanna so like... many things. You're gonna be so loud, it is so quiet. <laughs> so that we're doing today. Good, Good. 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 Nice Brittany, know who you're Can I get the breakfast sampler? How would you like your eggs? Can I do them sunny side up? Sure can. And then can I get rid of the bacon strips and sub them for turkey bacon? Yep. So it's a dollar ninety nine for turkey. Okay. That's so turkey fine. bacon, and um, then the sausage and the uh, ham's okay stuff. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. And then the pancakes. Could I make them the New York cheesecake? Yep. Pancakes? And that's up for two. Is that okay? That's totally okay. Fine. Breakfast. Oh my God. Yeah. What'd you say about the butter? It's so much. It's so much. <laughs> woo woo. So we just finished breakfast and we stopped at Starbucks to grab a coffee. Well, Christina didn't, she had coffee at breakfast, but um, I got a grande blonde roast with Splenda and oat milk, which now Starbucks carries here in Canada, which is bomb. Um, and now we're at the mall, so Erica and Jamie are going to some stores and then me and Christina are just gonna go look around at some stores. How was your first IHOP experience or your like first one in Milwaukee? Literally Ohio? so good. What was your rated out of 10? For sure, like, 10 out of 10. Really? Yeah, or maybe 9 out of 10. The place was, like, in a weird, like, location. You know? Yeah, I feel like the atmosphere so, like, the inside so feels the same, but outside is kind of dingy looking. But the food, food is good. Really good. I feel like it's just as good I as the, the States. Um, it's sure. just as good as the States. I think I'd also rate it 10 out of 10. <laughs> I mean, okay, price it could like put down yeah, a bit. Yeah, okay, it was like pretty pricey. But you're paying for like the extra premium upgrades of like... Yeah, the pancakes are like... Dessert oh. pancakes. Okay, let's go shopping. some leggings with like some mesh and then like they're really cute and they were 160 for 49 and then I got two sports bras that were 29 each originally like one was originally 74 one was originally 60 and I was like are you good for you and I don't, why do I always sell this on <laughs> why? I spilled my drink on the floor <gasps> yeah. no it, like, spilled on my shirt I was like leaning and I was like going to pick something up and then it like literally starts spilling over and I, I was like what's the noise <laughs> I like, had to go get a worker to come clean it up, and I was like, oh my god. Okay, Christina's leaving. Bye, Christina. Bye, Karina. It was so fun. <laughs> it was so fun. Bye. Bye, guys. It was so much fun. So, we're now all home from the winery weekend, and I just showered. It feels so good to, like, be home and, like, in my space. Um, my voice is literally going, because we have not stopped shocking all weekend long. I haven't experienced that in so long. That much human social interaction. Um, but I really want to thank you guys for watching the video. It was nice to just get out and get some content and footage and have some fun elsewhere than my house. I will put the site down below that we booked through. Um, it was such a good experience, I want to say. And also the hotel we stayed at was the Hilton Inn. Um, and that was such a wonderful place to stay at as well. Um, I felt pretty safe with all the mask wearing and how they handled everything and how everything was hygienic. None of the ice machines were open on any of the floors, so the staff had one 
on like the main lobby floor and they would fill up for you and then in that baggie you take that up to your room and dump it in your little ice bucket so that was handled all very well so very covid friendly i will see you guys all in my next video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button the notification bell and the thumbs up button thank you all so much for watching